Welcome to Pine Notes and thank you to my 100 subscribers out there. I sincerely appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Now for this week's update I did a little video yesterday Monday July 18th with a nice thunderstorm rolling through and we'll get to my Clement Cannon Poncho in a minute but I finished my mother's handkerchief and I know I had mentioned last week doing the opposing corners different colors I didn't have anything in my stock that matched the blues and greens in here like I liked it and um, I did in my laundry detergent video hand wash this and the colors stayed beautifully it was wonderful the crochet edges stayed down nicely I will have to tack this one at least it's not curling but I will tack that down just a, a stitch in there and then this is the one that has her initial in it right here and a little ladybug and this was from my secret garden what Delilah did embroidery book which I'm absolutely enjoying now to catch you up on my other projects yeah it's 90 degrees out my wool socks not going very far but I just think it is so cute so I did two rows a couple rows I think last time you saw him he was this big well well now he's he's getting well on his way I think I counted I only have like five more rows to go before I start the other rib stitch on the sock and this is a red heart yarn it is heart and soul and the color is Victorian which is beautiful uh, burgundy purples grays just just perfect for the fall weather we have coming hopefully soon <laughs> <laughs> all right that's my sock and in other news I wanted to talk about the pink virus shawl I was thinking of doing out of this yarn I changed my mind I went in my stash and I found this this is stained glass and this is unforgettable yarn and it is just gorgeous now they're calling this a uh, number four on the weight scale but to me it is the same size if not smaller than the one they're calling three right here um, so I will be doing my virus shawl and if you don't know what a virus shawl is I'll insert a picture here Um, many people are coming out with videos on this it's going around the internet and this is nice and soft fabric and in fact I have used this once before and I took a photo of my project I did this pattern is off of Ru Ruby Stedman's channel this was one of the very first poncho like jackets I made using this thread right here this color is called sunset and I did as always I did modify the pattern um, I made it longer and I made the sleeves a little bit longer so I will insert a picture here there in the full picture you can see the entire jacket and the beautiful colorway Ruby Stedman is one of my favorite crocheters on YouTube I will link her channel below right now she is doing a lot of beautiful tiny floral work and floral vests and all kinds of delicate work 
it's just amazing just go to her channel and look at everything she creates she does not write patterns down you need to watch her videos to follow along and I'm fine with that I'd rather I've always learned better doing something than reading instructions anyway and you know that's a good point to bring up with our Clement Cannon poncho too um, I'll get to that in a second so this is the yarn I will use for the virus shawl and I have two balls here so I think that will be plenty and that will be my first time doing a pattern shawl like that with such incre incremental delicate work included in it I just think this is too heavy this is nice this is going to be a winter hat I decided I've got the matching um, skein in tutti frutti and I think my nieces who are under the age of 12 will really like that for Christmas and my shawl will be this I'm just in the mood for a new thread this is light and fluffy and we'll see how it goes all right now before we move on to my Clement Cannon Poncho, let's talk about our Christmas cow. And you can tell this is a crafter's table. I've got thread all over it. <laughs> um, this is my Heartland Yarn, Redwood, Kings Canyon. My natural colors are Grand Canyon and Mammoth Cave all named after national parks here these are really close and um, I just want that little bit of change in the stocking that I'm going to be making now as a reminder our Christmas cow runs July 25th through August 25th you can start emailing me the photos of your objects you would made preferably this year for a random drawing and again this is for a sense of community a sense of sharing our work out there and I have picked to do a stocking and I chose natural colors for this um, I think I'm going to use the darker neutral with the bright red and the lighter neutral with the green and I do have fake fur on hand too so I'm very excited about doing this I have nothing crochet related for Christmas so that is one of my items for the cow and you might wonder Lisa why are you running it July 25th through August 25th well I hate to say it but the end of May going into June and the first of July crazy busy with travel vacations holidays right now we're slowing down so July 25th through August 25th cutting it off at August 25th and I will tell you um, it's fair week after August 25th it's back to school week after August 25th and fair week may not mean much to you unless you live in a small town like Ohio but it's huge and if you want to enter anything into the fair you better have it done by then I am not uh, the only way I'll go to the fair is if my parents want to get in free on senior citizen day but you never know we might take a field trip all right that's project one for my cow project two and I promised you guys a close-up this is called Jingle Bells and these are the Lion Brand bonbons I could not could not resist this is white with tinsel red red with tinsel red a normal Christmas red Christmas green and Christmas white we'll get those out of the way and then we have green with green tinsel and white with green tinsel and silver and white silver tinsel with white now I plan on making some crochet Christmas ornaments with these 
And I had mentioned before, the pattern they show on the cover of this is just wrapped yarn around cardboard. It's cute, but I really want something crochet and little for my Christmas tree. And I have a tiny tree, by the way. It's, it's only like a four-footer, so these have to be tiny items. And I had shared last week that my second project for our Christmas Craft Along is a wreath made out of a plastic ring from either a water jug, a water bottle, um, a Gatorade or a Powerade bottle. And I plan on doing that. And I think I might use some of these for that. But if you have any ideas for small Christmas ornaments that are crocheted, please email me. I have not looked on Pinterest yet, but I will go there shortly. And one more thing. I owe you guys a review on Stitch the Halls, what Delilah did. And I still very much plan on reviewing this book. And I think my third project for the cow will be some embroidery. Now I'm going to have to admit, I might be embroidering a handkerchief for Christmas for my father. Um, I do a lot of work for my mom, but I know he enjoys a handmade item now and again too, so I will still owe you a review on this and it will be a solid video by itself. Oh, these are so cute. I, I just absolutely love these. Alright. Now, introducing my crochet Clement Cannon Poncho. I'll insert a photo here. Yes, there she is, the sea goddess, Neptune's bride. I'm not sure what I'm going to call her yet. I'm going to try, it's, it's very, very long, so I'm trying to pull it from behind me and it's not working. Um, the color way. I cannot describe to you when I put this on what it looked like. I thought sea goddess uh, immediately or Neptune's bride. Um, I need a name to describe it. Uh, this was an item that was going to go in my Etsy shop because I'm trying to stock up and uh, yeah I was trying to think of names for it and I just absolutely love it on it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm so glad I got rid of the Cafe Au Lait color and the other changes to the pattern. This whole thing right here was supposed to be solid gray and I just, I didn't see it. I couldn't do it. So I added two gray, a whole green, two gray, and a white because I love white and navy next to each other. And then um, the rest of it was just as the pattern shown. There is also an extra row in here. I used a size I hook for the first time. Would absolutely do that again. I did. Oh, yes, confession time. You saw the lovely photo of it, but only one side is sewn. Yes, I didn't finish the other side. And I took a photo of that to show you because I might leave this open and put a little toggle or a clasp here. It would be the first one. I have made three ponchos now and this would be the first one I'm leaving open. This comes down to about the elbow and uh, why I call it Sea Goddess, I don't know. Maybe it's because I was raised around the five Great Lakes and I absolutely love water, but the points just curl beautifully on this. It, it just drapes so nicely. But I have to tell you, I did run into some problems and I'm still trying to work out um, some thread issues, which we'll talk about soon. All right, right here. Yeah, I forgot to sew a whole section. I somehow managed 
And I got a close-up photo of this for you guys, too. To stop it right here. So thank goodness I left enough tail end to go back and recreate this whole border. Just lesson learned, leave enough tail so if there's something you've got to recreate, you can. So this whole section right here, this and this arm down, are brand new. And I haven't worked out how I'm going to connect these two ends yet, but boy! Oh, and I left enough tail end on this too, thank goodness, to go ahead and do another fan stitch. Took almost all my thread here. So yeah, my first big oops. Uh, I'll work on it. I'll get back to you on work on it. Even if I have to stitch it together with uh, a needle, I, I don't mind. But for right now, I'm just tying it in a bow till I can pay it some attention. So if you guys have any tips on how to fix that, I can take the tail back out and just add a a much longer piece but it was right at the very end this is the end the last <laughs> the last fan stitch to the last um, ending here so yeah that was that now as you know there's something I gotta share with you because I have always called this 24 7 cotton yarn my holy grail and I have to share with you my experiences with this particular poncho this time. I don't know if you remember my haul video, but they had 20% off, and I'm talking they, lionbrand.com directly, had 20% off all cotton yarn. So I picked up various rolls and kits. This would be considered a kit of 24-7 cotton. For the first time ever, and this is my third poncho, and I'm probably talking close to 60 balls of yarn, a manufacturer defect happened. I'm going to take a photo of this up close, too. Look at that break. Right there. I cut it right out of my yarn. And this was not the first one. I had this happen in a white ball. I feel like if I'm proclaiming this to be my holy grail of yarn, it has a certain standard to live up to. And after this poncho, the Lion Brand 24-7 cotton yarn is being downgraded. There's no reason why I should have a manufacturer defect in something bought straight off the site and specifically in a kit made to make a poncho. Uh, I did not get this at a factory mill end outlet at all, that I expect, but not something brand new. And I wouldn't have mentioned it, but this happened not once, twice. It happened to me with a white piece of thread too, and you know, you just cut it out and throw it away, you don't think about it. But when it happened to me a second time, I've got to say something. All right, and all of you know, I sent a question out there a couple weeks ago. What do you do with your knots? Because I was having an incredible amount of knots with this project. That's what delayed me um, finishing it a little bit because I wanted to tie in or sew in all the loose knots and all the edgings and stuff. But this was a little ridiculous to have a knot here, cut it out, and then you get not more than a yard later and there's another knot. I just undid the whole thing and completely um, took this out. And again, this is not the first time it happened. It happened with the navy and the navy edging that I did on this, which is very hard to hide. Uh, your loose threads in. It, it might seem like I'm complaining, but this was a holy grail product for me and it just got downgraded in this project. I have one more vest or poncho to make out of this and I will give it a second chance and we'll judge it then. So that's my update on my crochet projects. Um, the big green sweater, cable sweater, 
not touching it in this 90 degree heat there's been no change in that but I do want to wish you all a very happy and healthy day get out there and enjoy your summer this is July 19th it's a Tuesday and I know it's 90 degrees out there just be safe and thank you for being one of my 100 subscribers I am thrilled to death and uh, yeah it, it really makes my day that that you care enough to watch and comment I can't appreciate you enough so as always I'm going to thank you for watching liking and most of all subscribing to my channel this is Lisa from Pine Notes take care